Hi, I'm Sosan, Faculty of Anthropology for UBSC. Welcome to Anthro Times. This is the series we have started in order to give you a walkthrough of the syllabus of anthropology for UBSC. Today we are going to talk about one of the very fascinating but controversial topic for many social sciences as well as scientific disciplines. That is, Ancestors of Homo sapiens. This topic in your syllabus reads as follows, that is, phylogenetic status, characteristics and geographical distribution of different fossil men. Here several scientific names appear and I'm sure if uh, you are from a non-life sciences background, you must be starting to feel uh, nauseating. But hold on, let us first have a brief rattling of uh, the names of the fossil men that are given. I am going to read the core topical name that you have to study. That is Australopithecus or Australopithecines. Let me first rattle some of these names for you so that you get familiarized with the, with the pronunciation and with the terminology. Namely, Pleistocene fossils, that is Australopithecines, Homo erectus, Neanderthal man, Rhodesian man, and Homo sapiens. All these titles that you have seen are called hominids, meaning the entire list of species within the genus of Homo and the immediate ancestors, meaning Australo. I repeat, when we mean hominids, what it communicates is the entire list of species in the genus Homo and Australopithecines. Now, as the topic opens in your syllabus, you read a term called Pleistocene. Now, in this particular context, I bring to your notice that something like geological time scale has to be studied by you. In geological time scale, biologists, geologists and archaeologists, they try to study at what point of time, what kind of organisms had emerged. You as a student of anthropology may not be requiring to do the entire geological time scale. It is for a general understanding. But when it comes to your syllabus, especially of UPSC, the entire discussion goes round two epochs. Epoch meaning a time which spans into a few uh, millions of years. So when we say Pleistocene, it is that epoch where man's immediate ancestors emerged. Immediate ancestor, that is Astro, had emerged. Now when it comes to Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens emerged in Holocene, that is the most recent of the epochs. So these are the two epochs that you are going to study. One is the Pleistocene epoch and Holocene epoch. Apart from this, whenever you read about these fossils, the listed ones as we have uh, you know, seen a little while ago, all these fossils have to be studied, all these fossil men to be studied uh, in the context of some of the questions, namely, where the fossil evidences were found, meaning in which continent, in which region, say some fossil was found in the Narmada Basin, so you will have to know the region of Narmada, or in some part of Germany it was found, you must know that such and such fossil was found in that particular geographical region. So, apart from the location, you also should uh, know which anthropologists and archaeologists were forming part of that particular team. And then thirdly, you will have to know what kind of evidences were found, what uh, bone evidence, whether it is skull evidence, femur evidence, etc. And along with that parallel evidences, meaning maybe non-human evidences, maybe non-living evidences, also stone evidences such as these things. And apart from this, based on whatever evidence that was found, archaeologists, uh, primatologists and paleontologists, they might be coming up with certain list of characteristics. So even if you have found a femur bone, you may be you know, extrapolating the information, correlating the information with several other fossils and are trying to give a, a, a decent list of characteristics about that particular fossil man. So this you must know. And then... Lastly, you also have to keep yourself aware of if any kind of theories are there, differences of opinion are there, arguments are there. 
principally regarding whether this fossil that they have found can be placed in the human line of evolution or not. I know this is a very, very fascinating discussion that will happen in the human evolution. Now, coming to our uh, ritual of reference books, the same two reference books that I have been giving for several topics of uh, physical anthropology and archaeology, I am trying to give the same here, namely Physical Anthropology by B. M. Das and Anthropology by Ember and Ambush. So that's it for the day. See you with another interesting topic in the upcoming video. Keep watching Anthrodynes. Have a good time.